we made it to a small town called Sagatuk, I think that's what it's called. And this is a famous surat in Sagatuk art in the downtown area. It's very artsy. When we were in Houghton, we met a couple other van lifers, uh, Mike and Rhonda, and they told us about this place called Sagatuk, and they told us there's lots of stuff to do here, lots to see. They also told us it was very gay friendly, which we're kind of seeing now because we're seeing a lot of pride flags around, a lot of love is love stuff. Everybody just seems to be super friendly as it is, but definitely a very gay friendly town. And it's a beautiful day. One of the nicest days we've had up in Michigan, actually. Not too happy with Kana. Oh, you're gonna scare the crowd. Oh, okay. Other than just having this algae bloom, this whole town is pretty. Even Kana is really enjoying her time in Sagatuck. She's trying to meet some squirrels, apparently. But nobody is hurt during the process, by the way. And check out the story behind Singapore, Michigan. Yep, that's time for it again. The van needs some washing. And that's what Michael is doing now. Good job, Michael. Look at that. What do you think, Kana? Huh? What do you think? Our next stop is a town, I guess it's a city called Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yep. And it is named for its Grand Rapids, believe Oddly it or not. Enough. <laughs> right now we are at the Fish Ladder Park. And why is it called Fish Ladder Park, Michael? Because they built this dam here, and then they realized that the fish had no way to jump up again to do their migration. So they built these fish ladders behind us. And when you go in, you can actually see the fish in there. They're, they just climb. So each ladder is probably about this high and then they make their way up the river using the fish ladders and somehow the fish know to go in there. There's a lot of big salmon in there right now and you can actually see them. It's definitely a popular local spot. People are fishing in the background in the main rapids, but the ladder actually off. It's off limits. Yeah, off limits for fishing, which is really cool. Grand Rapids is a fly fishing mecca where a fine day like this is a very enjoyable time to be outdoors fishing. Look, he's got a salmon apparently. After observing the salmon that he caught, he had to let it go. We wonder why. Uh, I'll hook. Oh. You gotta be hooked in the mouth. Okay. That's, That's a huge fine. Is it? Like a thousand dollar fine. So he had to let that go. He has but to let it go. Would he have been fine if someone saw that? Absolutely. Now? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. They don't mess around, man, with the rules. And we learned something new today in fishing terms. Ladies and gentlemen, now we come to the point where we're about to cross the world's famous landmarks of the Blue Bridge of Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is apparently one of the landmarks here in the city for obvious reason, I think. So we're gonna walk across to the other side of the river. Good girl, kinda. As part of our van life in Michigan experience, we decided to come to Fen Valley Vineyard for the night. It's a beautiful winery that we found in the Harvest Host app that allows our beers to stay for free. And what's a stay in a beautiful winery without a walk to the vineyards to check out some very juicy grapes while enjoying the beautiful evening? Look at this bunch of grapes. So tempting, isn't it? Big bunches of them. Should I taste one? Yes. Just one. I bet it's gonna be gross. No, grapes are grapes, I no, guess. No, they're not. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. Try it. Tastes like a blueberry. Really? Yeah, it does actually. It tastes just like a blueberry. It might have seeds. What? Seeds? Yeah, well. It's good that. though. Really fresh. Now that's a different kind. That's a definitely a white grape. Let's pick one and try it. It's good. Yeah? It's very, very sweet. We didn't expect to see that, did we? No. Look at this, like a bright red leaves. It's pretty cool. It's really, really cool. That's a bit bitter. Now it's time to enjoy the harvest of Vin Valley itself, the wine products. Hello. Very nice. So it's all one through seven 
on your sheet. Caprice goes right there, then the Merlot. Okay. Then it goes up to the... Moscato. Awesome. Okay. All right, cool. Thank right. you so much. <laughs> so this is what we have for being a Harfus host members in a way. I get to sample seven of their products and hopefully I like some of them and we can buy some bottles, whatever we like. And I'm gonna let Holof do the tasting because the wine that he's gonna buy us for him. So I just opted just to have myself a nice glass of dry apple cider. It feels like a dry apple cider day. And like I said, I'm not a big <laughs> cider fan, but I would love to find one that I like. That's better than I usually get. And I think it's because it's made locally. Like it's not put in a can and shipped all over the place. It just tastes good. It's refreshing. So we're supposed to pick seven on the list and I pick Capriccio. Merlot 2017, Moscato Lakeshore Sunset, Briarwood Rosé, Cherry Specialty Wines, and Classic Port Premium Dessert Wines. Give it a try. It's better than um, Three Buck Chuck, how about that? <laughs> Actually, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm just gonna randomly pick the number two, which is the Merlot. It's very dry. It's super, super dry. Like, it doesn't taste like Walmart wine. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> it's the Briarwood Rosé. I do like it. It's a little bit sweet, but it's only because it's more room temperature right now. If you cool it down a bit, you'll get a lot less of those sweet notes. I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's funny. I can't describe Kool-Aid. Generally, I like port wines because it's sweet and rich. So we're gonna give it a try. Generally, I'm not a big fan. Kind of tastes like communion wine. Oh really? Now you, have, now you have me intrigued. Okay, I'm still not a big fan because it's port, but I gotta say that's probably one of the better ports that I've had. Moscato is probably the best here. You could smell it right before you put anything in your mouth. So it's really refreshing. There you go. You get the whole experience of the Fan Valley Vineyards and Wine Cellar. Try the cider though. The, try, the cider is delicious. The dry, I had the dry apple. I can't speak to the other three. The dry apple is pretty awesome. You got a lot of wines to chug there. Yep, yep, yep. And we get a gorgeous parking spot overlooking the winery itself. And of course the vineyard. It's a pretty nice spot, absolutely. And dinner's ready. Pizza, again. We do eat a lot of pizza. Yeah, we do. It's cheap though. Life is good here in Michigan, so our overnight stay in the vineyard was pretty great. We're surrounded by excellent views that Kana can't even resist. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and to hit the notification button to follow along with our journeys. Thanks for watching. Kana, get some water. Kana, come here. What you doing? We are currently at the Fan Valley. Fan Valley. Fan Valley. It just tastes good. Yeah. It's refreshing. It looks good. Yeah. Looks like a drug test. <laughs> oh my god.